strength of Sustainable Concordia is definitely its tenure. Um, 17 years is a long time for a student organization to be around and functional. Uh, and through that time, we've been able to build very valuable relationships throughout our community. Um, I think you would be hard, it would be hard to find someone on campus who doesn't know about Sustainable Concordia, at least a little bit. And so that just goes to show the amount of culture that we have already built about sustainability um, through the R4 DISH project alone. I think people know about Sustainable Concordia a lot. Um, but also the compost system, waste reduction, waste justice, um, alley go, active transportation, um, and now through our work with the sustainability policy and, um, and all of that administrative work through creating the sustainable governance uh, system, we've been able to sit around tables with people who uh, know about Sustainable Concordia and it's really enlightening to say Oh, hi, I'm Mark. I work for Sustainable Concordia. And be like, oh, cool, Sustainable Concordia. I've heard a lot about you. Um, it's, really, it's really, really empowering to know that the generations of people before you that worked here um, have done a lot of meaningful work and built really meaningful relationships with our community. And so through the past year or two years, as we've been revisioning and restructuring, we've really had that as a mainstay. We really want Sustainable Concordia to be able to continue building and maintaining uh, relationships within our community that, that matter. Um, and I, so I think that's one of the biggest strengths. Going forward, a huge strength will also be our ability to educate and engage people uh, on multiple different levels. So we're focusing on um, engaging those people who have maybe an hour to spare, one time, who want to learn about the basics of sustainability. And we also want to engage those people who have a little bit more time and want to participate in an eight-week environmental justice workshop. Uh, and then we also want to engage people who have even more time than that to become someone who sits on our board of directors or represent us at the Arts and Science Federation of Associations or represent us at the Concordia Student Union or on the CCSL or go and sit at one of these sustainability governance framework meetings um, to get them involved at whatever level that they can be involved. So I'm really excited about that. Weaknesses um, would definitely be our transient nature and our turnover. Um, and actually, I wouldn't even say that that is a strength or our, that, is a, that that is a weakness. I wouldn't even say that that is a weakness. I would say that our weakness lies in the fact that our procedures and the way that we are structured doesn't embrace the fact that we're transient because student population will never not be transient. So we, we need to stop focusing on building a, an organization that corrects that and we need to build one that embraces that. So we're starting to build policy manuals that are less prescriptive and more suggestive where they can be. Obviously there's laws and stuff that need to be followed, but instead of saying to coordinators in three years that you have to do this financial procedure in this specific way because that's what we did now saying that like this is how this is how we highly suggest you run your finances but then in three years if they turn around and say well that's not the situation right now then it's okay for them to change that um, and we need to make sure and and we're really excited to be building those resources and then also making them available to our community because we recognize that that is an issue with a lot of student groups on campus. And in maintaining some kind of institutional memory, you need to have a process that will facilitate that and not degrade that. Uh, and so I've worked for Sustainable Concordia for two years now, and going through the records and the, the history and the archives of, of what's here has been very piecemeal. Um, and I would like to see a system that will go forward and document our experiences in a way that will make sure that people in 10 years can look back and have a really good understanding of what we did now uh, in order to build from that and make sure that they're not making the same mistakes that we're making here.